Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had taken a young man known as Zayd ibn Haritha radiyallahu anhu who was given to him by his wife as a slave but he freed him and he used to be called Zayd ibn Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so Allah wanted to clarify that hang on don't hide this lineage and don't let it be a means of deception just be clear this is Zayd ibn Haritha this is Zayd, son of Haritha. Don't let them say Zayd bin Muhammad because that is confusing. And it is wrong in the eyes of Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, there cannot be two lineages with one man. You cannot have both. The correct one is Zayd bin Haritha. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala thereafter in the next verse, verse number five, Allah says, Udu'uhum li aba'ihim huwa aqsatu inda Allah call them with their father's names that is justice in the eyes of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now there is another matter addressed here as well and that is the difficulty where people were telling their wives when they were not interested anymore in fulfilling the rights of their elderly wives or those perhaps who may have become a little bit older etc they used to say you know what you are just like my mother and when they say you're just like my mother, the idea was to stay away from them, to say now you can just look after the kids. As for the fulfillment of your rights and, you know, the, the intimate rights and so on, that's okay, it's fine. Allah says, how dare you say this? This is prohibited, it is wrong, and it could be equivalent to divorce if you're not careful. You cannot equate your wife with someone who's a mahram, you cannot do that with the intention of insulting her and telling her that I'm no longer going to fulfill your rights and your duties. Let's save ourselves from insulting our wives. They have given birth. They have borne our children. We need to respect and honor the changes that may have taken place in their bodies as a result. It has to happen. It's a test for you. The time you married her, she might have been subhanallah, you know, in prim prop shape. I'm not saying that women should allow themselves to, you know, to, to waste themselves without even being concerned about what they look like. No, but I am saying that sometimes we as men do not appreciate what they've been through for us. And we just say words that are so hurtful, yet they have sacrificed for us. Wallahi, that is your wife. That is the mother of your children. Be careful how you speak to them. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا جَعَلَ أَزْوَاجَكُمُ اللَّائِي تُظَاهِرُونَ مِنْهُنَّ أُمَّهَاتِكُمْ Allah says, those women whom you call your mothers and you are engaged in something known as dhihar. Dhihar is to assimilate your wife to your mother. They are not your mothers. How dare you say that? Allah warns the men, watch out, watch these statements. Be careful, honor the woman. She has taken care of your, your children, subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to save ourselves and our homes from disaster because of the bad tongue we have sometimes. Subhanallah. And I've heard some really nasty words. Some good people, you can't believe the man is fulfilling salah. He's a decent person. But listen to what he says to his wife. Listen to how he treats his children, his mother, etc. Wallahi, it's unacceptable. If you don't have anything good to say, remain silent. But if you are a husband, create good words to say to your spouse. Because if you don't say them, where do you expect her to get those words from? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and guide us. So my brothers and sisters, that is a very, very interesting point. The point of naming the children. It's important for us to realize that we are not allowed to hide lineage because that is sacred is chosen from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's important for us also to realize that we need to be careful the way we address our wives. In that way, we will be able to live in harmony and peace. And Alhamdulillah, the mercy of Allah will descend upon us. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us forgiveness for what we may have said in the past. Make amends. Make amends. Never lose hope. Admit your error. You were wrong. Say so. And tell yourself, I'm not going to do this again. Go back home. Look at the mother of your children. And feel within your heart that connection. And say to yourself, you know what? This is a human being. This is somebody's daughter. This is somebody's child. I need definitely to appreciate and acknowledge that I'm going to die. I may die anytime now. I'd rather die having pleased Allah regarding one of his 
beloved creatures whom destiny had brought me together with. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease.